fresh battery. Fresh battery. Let me show y'all this too. For uh, for my people out there that have a hard time putting in a battery or you know removing a battery from your your folding e-bike, this is what I do. You know, especially I've seen a few people look like they're kind of hurting their back a little bit. So this is how I do mine. Just grab the front brake, take the back seat, and just push it in. Hold it with your leg. See? Super easy. Save your back, people. Slide that joint in. Easy peasy. Just gonna show y'all how the torque work today. I'm not gonna go nowhere far, just gonna hit a couple of corners real quick. So you guys had questions in the comments asking me if you can still, well, well, how do both motors still work? So this is how it's configured up front. The throttle, this throttle operates the front motor. There is no pedal assist set up for that. It's only throttle. This is the primary throttle that came with the bike. I just got it hanging on. It's still connected because if you disconnect it, you get an error code. So I might just put a thumb throttle on the left side over here. So for right now, that's just going to situate itself right there. Now the rear, let me grab my keys. Work better with the keys in. Bam, we got power. We got power here, we got power here. This is gonna operate the rear motor. Pedal assist only. Any level, one through five, just like you would regularly. And then you grab the throttle here and you get both motors simultaneously. And yeah, it's torquey. And if you do this mod, you'll love it. How you doing, man? Give y'all a little taste of this torque. Like that. Woo! Yeah. monster torque monster little tip if you don't have a lock for your bike and you have an alarm alarm only like $14 on Amazon go grab one of them Usually when I don't feel like locking up my bike or I'm somewhere where, you know, I'm gonna be in and out real quick, I just crack the handle and put on my alarm. And people just look at it crazy, like, oh, what is that? If you touch it, it got alarm on it. So, yeah, it's, it's just, if, if you on a, you know, low budget and you just wanna get some cheap bike security, you know, do that. But I'm gonna lock mines up though.
don't judge me. Don't judge me. This is for an injury, okay? This too. This is this is you know, this is to you can put it on the injury, make it feel better, cool it down, then you put this over it and you keep it from swelling, you know. I gotta excuse the ashy hands I've been working. Working on my appetite. Tear on my brakes now. up with this truck. Like that. That's real nice. Hands down the best mod. It's a whole new bike now. LAE skater, here I come. Alright, now that y'all see the how you know the bike performs on a straight, on a flat, you know how the torque works, you know how fast the takeoff is. Uh, 
I'm gonna put a clip in here from when I timed it. If you need that extra torque, I know some of my, my bigger guys out there, you need more power to get up these hills. So if this is something you're interested in, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. So, uh, all right, let's slow it down. Let's do the... All right, we gonna open up our Sport Tractive app. And we gonna do a zero to 28 or a zero to top speed, whatever that may be. We gonna put this thing on pedal assist five and we gonna give it all throttle. Let's see how she do. Let's see. Let me put this bike in the lower gear first. Alright. Alright, now we all the way in gear one so we can get maximum torque as we pedal. All right, let's do it. Zero to top speed. Ten. Nine, oh, we got a countdown? Eight, okay, seven, for sure. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Workout started. Wow. That's what we got, guys. About 14 seconds, 13 seconds. I gotta run the playback and make sure what it was. That was pretty quick. So you see, it gets up to speed pretty quick. Very torquey. It's only a 48 volt battery. You know, I was gonna go 52 off the jump, but I wasn't sure if the kit was gonna warrant that, which I don't think it does. So I got a new controller coming. You know, I'm still not done modding this bike, but definitely if you just want to do this for torque and you want to get uphill and you want to get up to speed fast, you know, makes you feel a little safer, uh, a little safer around cars, then this mod is 100% is worth it. Me, I'm going I'm to take it a step further. You know, I want, I want this thing to hit, you know, closer to 33 miles an hour. So I'll be working on that next. But uh, here's some footage from the hill climb, the extreme hill climb. Check this out. Ooh, all right, this all uphill. Pedal assist five, full throttle. That's how we coming with it. Dream Hill Climb. We're slowing down, but we getting up. Oh, we getting up. Yeah, 16, 17, 18. We up. We up. That's a victory. Whew. That wasn't too bad. Motors did most of the work, but I put in some work too.
That's the steepest hill I've ever been up on this bike. And I want to say last time I was doing, I don't know, probably three, four, five miles an hour going up that hill. Something like that. This bike is a hill climbing beast now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. More content. We got some, some special things coming up for the channel. Till the next one, guys.